Hello, good evening, producer Mark here. Uh, I've had a few emails uh, from people asking about, oh, this uh, is all very good, this onairgigs.com stuff, um, how do we join up? It's pretty straightforward, really. You've got a big button here which says Performer Registration. Uh, not to be confused with Join Us, this uh, members login here is just for viewing public and viewing members. The Performer Registration, if you're a musician or in a band, this is the one you want to click on. What we're going to do is we're going to click on it and uh, create a profile the same as some of these guys on the front page. So anytime you want to log in and perform, these are the details that you're going to need to fill in. Not every time, obviously. Okay, now I'm using Google Chrome, so hopefully it won't automatically fill up the sections for us. But uh, your username is the first part in your personal information. This is the username you'll use to log in with. And uh, you know what's going to happen. Um, so please type it right, because uh, if you get it wrong, you won't be able to log in. So I'm going to put in Mark Testing as a username. Display name. This is the name that uh, will be the display on your profile. This is what people will see you as and uh, remember you as. So try and get it right, try and get it nice, try and keep it neat and tidy. Um, you can only use alphanumeric which basically means that you can only have, uh, in fact I've already used that so I'll use that instead, you can only have uh, letters and numbers. You can't even have a space or a fancy character, you can't do that for example with asterisks and commas and things. The only thing you can use is a underscore. Uh, it keeps it nice and simple and helps our database remember everything without getting confused. So keep it neat, keep it tidy. Uh, your password. Again, don't forget this please, because it's fully encrypted and we don't even get to see it. Email address. This is really important. Um, if anybody's going to contact you through the site or we need to contact you for some reason, uh, or the system itself needs to contact you, it will use this email address. And if you don't type in the right one, you can't even register because it's going to send you a confirmation email. So I'm going to put in some nonsense. Um, because I'm already registered and don't want to do it again. So that's your email address done. Your name and address etc is kind of important because there's money transactions going on and we need to know who you are. Um, we see this, the viewing public does not, so don't worry about it, it's encrypted as well. So for this purpose I'm going to put in my first name and my last name is exactly the same uh, because I'm silly. Uh, my address, I will put in something, it doesn't really matter at the moment because it's just a demonstration and I'm still in the same place. 123QWE, there we go, that'll do. I'm not going to use the autofill. So if you fill in your address please, that's important. Um, sometimes emails can disappear, servers and things like that. If, uh, if we've got some money belonging to you sitting in our account and we can't get it to you because your email's been changed or you've disappeared, at least we'll be able to write you and get in touch with you. So please fill out that correctly, that'd be most grateful. Country, uh, there's a whole list of countries as you get with everything else. So uh, let's put in United Kingdom and then agree to the terms of service please because if you don't, you can't go any further. That is step one, nice and simple. Let's continue. We now move on to uh, oh, sorry, yes, it says a confirmation email has been sent. This is uh, automatically been confirmed for you. Um, sorry, it's not been automatically confirmed. It's automatically sent you an email. Um, so you can confirm it immediately and not continue on. But every time you try and log in, you'll come to this screen. Until you've completed your profile, you can't perform and you can't do anything. How do we pay you money, basically? Doesn't get much simpler than that. At the moment, PayPal is your only option. If you don't have a PayPal account, whiz over and set one up. It'll take you five minutes, it's dead simple, uh, and allows us to send you your cash. This information here is uh, your PayPal information. We're not asking you for your login details and your passwords and things like that. It's simply who you are and what is your PayPal email address so that we can send you funds. Um, let's uh, just, we're just testing this out. So I'll put in mark test and we'll put in test at testing.com. That would be, <coughs> excuse me, that would be your PayPal email address. Okay, got that? Get it wrong and uh, we won't be able to send you any money. 
This part, the release amount, um, is a minimum of 100 United States dollars. Now we charge, wait, we charge users in dollars to buy their chips and we pay you in dollars. Reason being, it's uh, pretty much the global currency that everybody uses and most people will automatically be able to figure out how many dollars, uh, how, many, how much real currency in there. And their currency is in real dollars, you know what I mean. Um, now, we don't send you uh, $1 every time you perform, or $10, or whatever you've made. There is this release amount of $100, purely keeps costs down for us and for you. If we have to try sending you 5 bucks every 10 minutes, uh, then we're going to get charged by PayPal and banks. So if we have to check, if we can send you $100 once or twice a month, then uh, it makes life a lot easier. Now, if you're going to be busy, um, and you're not, you're quite happy to, to wait a little while, maybe get paid once a month, then pop in $500. What that basically means is as soon as your account reaches the chip's equivalent of $500, or the $500 in real terms, as soon as it hits that, our system will automatically pay your PayPal account the $500 uh, on the first of the month or the 15th of the month, depending on how busy you are and how many tickets you sell and how many fans you've got. So, any questions on that, just email me and uh, I'll, uh, I'll try and explain it again. Um, but that's basically that. Continue. Step three is categories. Now, on the front page, sits round about there, is a box of categories, which are all of these. It means that the uh, viewing public can come along and think, hey, I'm into uh, country music. They click on country and see who's listed under country. So if you are a country musician, then you want to click country. If you also do some folk and you also do some blues, then uh, you should do that as well. Now, don't go clicking and filling in all of them thinking, oh, I better be in every category. That's just a bit of a waste of time. Um, people will want to find you, hopefully, so they want to see where you're going to live. So I'm going to click on uh, Talk Radio and Indie, pretending I'm doing my indie show. <coughs> Continue on, nice green tick saying everything's fine. And the last step is about you. This is your profile, which everybody can see. Male or female, uh, we don't do the bits in between, so you can click on whichever one you want. If you're in a band, just pick one. It's, it's not really crucial. Description, this is where you would describe uh, the band. So we could say a rock metal group from Canada. Yep basically describes who I might be. Musical style, we could say we play blues and hard rock. You can be as descriptive or as undescriptive as you like. Remember, it is your profile. So, um, you know, get it wrong. You can change it in the future, it's not a problem. Um, upload a file for your avatar. Uh, water lilies suits me just dandy, that'll be fine because it's all that's on this cheesy old computer. That avatar could be a mug shot, a band shot, a sleeve or a, a logo or something like that. Just something that uh, people can see and go, aha, that's who I want to go to. They can identify you straight away. This little section here for your profile just helps expand on things above. Uh, vocal style, I am speaking. Um, I am a solo person, I'm going through a mixing desk. So we'll click on that one. The type of broadcast they do is from a studio, but it could be from a home room or a garage or whatever you do. This all just helps people understand what it is that they can see when they come to watch one of your shows. Um, and what can they expect? Is it a hosted show? Uh, there's no request taken or you're on tour? Not a musical event? Whatever. If you can't think of one, just click other. But uh, you should be able to find in there something. So I'm going to put in a hosted show. And then finally for this section is the language flags. Let's scroll down. There's a few countries in here. If your country is not listed, please email me and I will add the flag. No problem at all. Takes me two seconds. Uh, basically, this lets people understand uh, where, you're, where you are and maybe even what languages you speak. So say, for example, I am in Serbia. If I click that, a little Serbian flag will appear on my profile. But if I also click, for example, United States, then people will be able to see that uh, I sing or speak or talk in English as well as Serbian. 
continue on from there, we should be done. There we are. Account created successfully. Painless. Takes a few minutes to do. Um, what you need to do now, obviously, if you haven't already done it, is check your email, click on the confirmation link, and you can then use this bit to log in with the username and the password that you've typed in previously. If you don't get the confirmation link, just pop onto Twitter or Facebook or something, or email, <coughs> email us directly, support at onairgigs.com. We can manually activate your account from here because we know what it's like with spam filters and things. You may not get the email. Now, hopefully, if we go back here to the front page, you'll be able to see uh, the profile I just created didn't get created because I didn't confirm it. But let's say, for example, uh, it was my profile here. What you just filled in creates this profile. These are the categories I was talking about. Uh, talk radio, soloist, etc. If people click on that, they'll see who's in there. And here is my profile. These are all the little bits, broadcast type, what to expect, all the things that you filled in. There's my language flag, which shows we're based in Scotland. And uh, that's pretty much it. Doesn't get much easier than that. So any questions at all, just write to support at onairgigs.com and we'll get back to you with any uh, issues that need resolving. Have a lovely day or evening or night and we'll see you performing real soon. Bye.